So in a way, the, the 70s of Sobel, for me, the period of brightness on in his mind, he was more free than any other moment of his career. The first idea, obviously, was a match to our dear Rafa Pérez Madero that passed away just before the pandemic. And, and we wanted not to give only a, the, the deserved homage to Rafa, but also to give light to a certain period of Fernando Sobel work that was little known. Rafa was born in Cuenca. We all know how important was Cuenca to Fernando Sobel. And apparently the, 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 the very good friends since the early beginning. And the, the Fernando Sobel needed some, somebody like Rafa to, to su support his, his work. As, as a good, all the good artists, they always have doubts. Even when you think they are very secure, they have doubts. And this is the, uh, Rafa was very important for Fernando. There is a painting um, called the gas station because there is was uh, by the way is the orange painting uh, from 1970s. The gas station he liked very much to stop on his way to Cuenca because they serve a very good tortilla de patata. So he was a, a human, a really human personality. You know, he, can, he made that homage to a restaurant in the way to Cuenca, but at the same time he was uh, making an homage to Albert Dürer. Uh, the show brings us 11 beautiful paintings. The first one was painted in 1970 and it's pure orange. We did that on purpose because we want to show people how, how advanced was the, the, the head of the creator of the maestro. Fernando Sobel make notes. When you see a note, it's it's a note regarding some kind of light. Uh, when was it finished? When did when did the painting stop being done? It's, it's that's fantastic. You can see very clearly in the in the homage to Igor Stravinsky. You no, know? everything is is is, is the, the the fight flight. The, it began in the 50s with Sobel between uh, the three dimensions and the three dimensions. How how can you make like three dimensions in something plain. So that's, that's basically the, the cubism. I have so well that he knew everything about art. He knew that that, that, that was an issue. In this painting, you see something as well. You see something round that you, by, by, by knowing the title, The Triumph of Caesar, you see that is a, that is a, a wheel, no? Uh, this is based on a painting by Mantegna. That's why I was talking about the freedom of Fernando Sobel. He was, uh, he was, I would say, a really, really a Renaissance creator in conversation with the Renaissance 15th or 14th uh, uh, century painters. And art is a temporal. This means that a painting by Sobel, which is which are great, you can pay, place them in a Gothic church and it will look fantastic. So that, that's it. There, there are links between Renaissance, modern times, modern times, Renaissance, Baroque, everything. 